What's going on guys? Shane here, another Fight Tips Quick Tip. So today I'm going to share with you some of my favorite motivational quotes. Quotes that have inspired me to evolve as a human being and help achieve my dreams, really. Now you'll notice that these are very unique. They're very different from the ones that you see on Instagram and on Twitter. But if those, the ones that you see every day, inspire you and motivate you, that's great. I want you to print those out and hang them up on your bathroom mirror, somewhere where you'll see them every day. But I challenge you this. The next quote that you read, and from here on out, try to customize it, try to personalize it for you. So change the words around or expand on it. So let's take one that we've all heard before, never give up. It means something to everybody. We're motivated for a second, and then we scroll right past it, right? Well, never give up, comma, because blank. Fill it in, personalize it so that it resonates, so that it hits home, okay? This will make you think deeper into it and it'll, it'll move you a little bit more. So I'm gonna share one with you here that starts off sounding like one that you've heard a million times before, but then it expands into something very unique, I promise. It goes like this. I will not stop until I achieve my dreams. That's the difference between me and most people. I'll keep trying and I'll fucking fail, and I'll fucking fail, and I'll fucking fail again, and then succeed a little bit, but mostly fail. Then I'll f***ing fail. Then I'll f***ing fail more, but I'll succeed a little bit. Then I'll f***ing get to where I'm going eventually. And nobody can f***ing stop me. So pretty vulgar, yes, but he's not insulting anyone. This is a quote from Steve Rogenbuck, okay? He's, a, he's another YouTuber, uh, a poet, and someone who I really love watching. Um, but like I said, he's not insulting anyone, so even if it's not your taste, you should be able to appreciate it because of the passion, right? This quote can be summed up in one that you may have heard before, which is fail better, right? Through trial and error, you, you constantly will fail and you have to understand that failing is going to happen. You can't, you can't be paralyzed by fear. And when you fail better each and every time, you'll eventually get to where you're going. I like this because it's a, it's a lot more passionate, right? This one hits, hits home a little bit more. And if it's not your style, I want you to be a little more open-minded, okay? I'm gonna share another one with you from Stephen Pressfield from one of my favorite books, which is The War of Art. Play on the words from Art of War, Sun Tzu. This is uh, The War of Art, okay? It goes like this. If you find yourself criticizing other people, you're probably doing it out of resistance. And resistance, he talks about, is um, fear of failure. It is procrastination, anything negative that's going to stop you from achieving your dreams. So when we see others beginning to live their authentic selves, it drives us crazy if we have not lived out our own. So pretty much when you watch other people on YouTube or you see other people in your class, you know, or people at work, when you have no real reason to hate them but other than being jealous, okay, that's, it's very negative, that's not going to help you achieve your dreams, it really comes down, I mean, this is life in general, you need to be kind, you need to be selfless, you need to be open-minded. When I was younger, I was like that, you know, I'd see people who were successful and I'd get angry because I thought I was better than them and I didn't understand why they were there and I wasn't. But now I realize that if I can learn from them or I can team up with them or just be nice to them, we can work together. And that is, is hard to, to admit. It really is. It's the, the more you learn, the more open-minded you'll be, the, the happier you will be and the more successful you will be. That's something that you've probably heard over and over again. And it's a shame that we have to really experience it to believe it. Give it a try though. Even if it's just for one day, when you're going through Instagram, say something nice to someone that you usually scroll right past or you don't like. Or the same thing on, on YouTube. When you, if you normally are someone who comments negative things, try, try avoiding that or try saying something positive and learning from it. Or if you watch a fighter that you don't like, all right, try to learn something from them. Because you may not like their personality, but they may teach you something, you know, technique-wise in a fight. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite quotes are, or some that you live by, and uh, share this video with a friend. Until next time, be sure to subscribe so you get the fight tips before your opponent does. I'm Shane with Fight Tips, self-defense for the underdogs.